Hey YouTube and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna take an in-depth look at ESET's new tier called Home Security Ultimate. This new Ultimate tier includes first for ESET, such as a VPN and identity theft protection, so you're not gonna to wanna to miss it. Right here at ESET's website, we can see the whole new home security lineup, starting with Essential, Premium, and Ultimate. Essential used to be called Internet Security, which I did an in-depth video on right here. Premium I just also reviewed, which used to be called Smart Security Premium. And Ultimate is the new tier that is a 10 license deal for $143.49 at the time of this video. But if you don't get it fast after the holidays, I believe it's going back to $24.99. Check the link in description because my link actually goes to their coupon page, which will never expire. So always the best deals right there. But that's 10 devices, so 10 antivirus suites, and then 10 VPN, 10 metadata cleanup, and then one identity protection. And we're gonna cover all those details in depth. And before I move on, there is a 30% off promo going on for the holidays on all ESET products. So you check on the link in description, you're gonna notice that the products we were looking at are significantly cheaper. This is normally $79.99, Essential is normally $59.99, and then Ultimate, which we're talking about today, is normally $205 or so. It's $143.49, so just a heads up. If you're watching this video after the holidays and this promo has expired, you can still click my link and it'll take you to the coupons page of ESET. That's never going to expire. It's always gonna show you the best promos going on at the time. Now, something that I wanted to comment on, so ESET just changed the art for their retail boxes and marketing. We, before we had the ESET Cyborg, everyone who's been using ESET for a while knows that ESET's almost calling card is this Cyborg. And, and I think, you know, everyone's loved it for the longest time. It suddenly went away with this new rebranding and they went to what some of you guys have been telling me in the comments looks like a bar of soap. Uh, to me, it looks like the edge of a tablet or a phone or a closed laptop. I think it looks clean and professional, but I got mixed feelings on it. I mean, I got really used to the Cyborg. It was all over the branding, it was all over the apps. But now on the app here on ESET Security Ultimate, it's no longer here. Um, is is it a deal breaker? No, but I, I have mixed feelings about it. Why don't you guys tell me in the comments what you think? Did you like the, the old cyborg or the ESET robot, or do you prefer this more clean, uh, futuristic tablet or closed laptop kind of look? So what you get when you buy ESET's best home security product, you get Ultimate, which is everything that was on Security Premium and Home Security Essential and Non32, but we also get much more, such as VPN, Identity Theft Protection, and Metadata Cleanup, which we're gonna cover exactly how these work and what they do in this video. So we have a lot to cover on this product, but a lot of this we've covered in another video, such as everything that's in computer protection and internet protection. I'll go over them briefly, but if you want a more in-depth look at all of the features and what they do, you can check out the video up here where I cover Smart Security Home Premium, and that will give you a more in-depth look at all these features. But I'm just gonna go over these really quickly. We have the real-time file system protection, LiveGuard and proactive protection. Now, this one here is exclusive to Premium and Ultimate. ESET LiveGuard is extremely important. It's a very high-end feature, really good at protecting you from zero-day threats. This one's on Ultimate and Premium. It's not on Essential or Not32. Device control, this is actually a pretty inclusive feature. This is gonna protect your, your computer from just being hijacked by a USB device. You plug in a, a sketch USB device, it's not gonna let it just run its firmware and infect your machine. So that's very good. We have HIPS, host intrusion prevention system, great feature. Um, and then we also have webcam protection. There's also microphone protection. Um, you might wonder why everyone at Facebook puts tape over the webcam is because it's very easy for an intruder or a virus that's running a rat uh, to hijack your webcam and take pictures of you. So that's actually really good. What this does is um, whenever some program for the first time wants to open up your webcam and activate it, ESET's gonna ask you if you allowed this. Do you want this program to use your webcam? If you say no, it's gonna be blocked. If you say yes, it will permanently allow it with that program. So really good protection here, same as premium. Internet protection, same stuff. We have parental control, web access, anti-phishing, anti email client protection, all the basics. Pretty much every antivirus program has that. When they don't have it, I'm usually critical. 
that's really good. Network protection, again, we have the firewall, network attack protection, really good. If you have an infected device on your network or an intruder on your network and they're trying to attack your PC, this is gonna detect that really quick. It's gonna see if there's someone scanning your computer. Um, very important. Botnet protection we've covered. So this is just really good stuff. Under security tools, safe banking and browsing, this is going to make sure your browsers can't get fished. So when you have this on and you have it securing your browsers, you're opening up Chrome and going to your banking site and it's a fake banking website. Maybe you clicked a link from an email. It's going to know that you're not on a secure banking website and it's going to block that from happening. Really good. Under private browser privacy and security, you can't really see a whole lot here, but what's exclusive to Ultimate is a, a, a basically an expansion of the ESET browser and security uh, extension. It's going to eliminate metadata from your pictures. So this is really important. When you upload a picture to Instagram or Facebook or Reddit or anywhere, there's some personal information in here from, from you. I made this picture the other day and it says that I'm the author. It says the date that it was taken. And in many cases, it'll say what kind of camera took it, the location. There's all kinds of personal data. It says the folder that it was in, um, the name of the file, the owner of the computer. This is my computer's name. So all this stuff you might not want to give out on a picture that you're uploading on the internet. So what ESET Ultimate does is it removes that metadata anytime you upload a picture with your browser. So that's actually a really big deal and I'm actually glad that they do that. And just like on Premium and Essential, we have the award-winning Nod32 malware scanner, virus and malware protection. So essentially when you're getting Ultimate, you're getting all the benefit of the previous generations, but they're including more of your digital life, VPN, identity theft protection, and more. Now what I know you guys have been really waiting for is the new feature VPN. If you click this little tile right here, it'll take you to a link to download and install the VPN. So once you install the ESET VPN app, here's the interface you'll see. Sleek, simple, no nonsense. But there's also a lot of features that we can explore that are particularly interesting because you don't typically see these on VPNs that come with antivirus products, such as being able to select the server. But what I like is it's just so simple to use. If you wanna just open it up and connect a VPN, click the power button, Instantly you're connected to a server nearby and it'll be just find a fast server near you. But if you wanna get a little bit advanced or if you want to use the VPN for its full features, like let's assume you wanna get around GOIP filtration, you want to watch Netflix videos that are not available in your country and you wanna watch them in France, or if you want to access something that's not available in your location, you can select a server anywhere you like. There's thousands and thousands of servers here. So again, this is not typical in VPN products that come with antivirus suites. So I, I can name another. Uh, Kaspersky's got a very basic kind of a slow VPN, um, doesn't have a lot of features. It's just to encrypt the communication. And you know, at, at least it has it though. And when I was talking to ESET, they asked me what I thought ESET should bring out to their new products. And I said, there's a lot of other companies out there that include a VPN with their antivirus, and I think you should too. And I even told them, it doesn't even have to be a great one. It doesn't have to be even fast. Just give me something that I can use when I'm at the airport just to encrypt my communication. So it, it's it's one of the bases that I think every cybersecurity firm should have covered. And they actually brought out a fully fledged kind of an expensive featured e, uh, VPN product here because we can select the servers. We can also choose the protocol. Right now we're on WireGuard, which is actually really popular right now because it's so fast and it's very strong. But we also have the standard open VPN on TCP and UDP. Uh, we have the IPv, IPsec version. Uh, we have Stealth. This one is actually one I'm glad I get to bring up to you because you'll actually use this one. If you're connecting to a site that doesn't allow VPN. This is a common uh, argument I hear about people who don't like VPN is because a lot of servers, including game servers, will block you because you're using a VPN. Well, connect with Stealth and it's going to disguise your VPN traffic as normal traffic and actually gonna disguise it as HTTPS. So instead of it coming across on that server as tunnel traffic and VPN traffic, it's gonna look like a normal computer using regular traffic so it can't know that you're on VPN. So if you ever are trying to stream something and it says we cannot we cannot let you stream because you're using an ad blocker or a VPN, don't listen to that. Just click on stealth here and then reconnect. And then now they can't tell that you're on VPN. Bam, you can't see. I'm stealthed. 
So if I communicate somewhere, you're not gonna be able to tell that I'm on VPN. And it's asking me if I wanna set stealth as my preferred protocol. I, I'm not, but yeah, just so many cool things. You can have it set to where it's gonna automatically connect you to VPN. If you're really paranoid and you want to always be on VPN, go ahead and go for it. But the most important thing that I think about a VPN on whether or not it's good or not is, is how fast is it? Now, right now I'm connected to Boston, as you can see here, I'm connected to Boston, MIT, and I'm currently in Costa Rica, which is in Latin America. So I'm a good distance away from the server and I'm going to go ahead and test right here. I'm using speedtest.net. It's going to tell me my ping speed, my latency, how my lag would be in gaming. And then it'll also tell me my download speed and my upload speed. So we have a ping of 92. Considering that I'm all the way in Latin America communicating to MIT, uh, that's actually a really good ping speed. That's playable. And then my speed here, all the way from Latin America, is around 100 megabits download, which is actually not too darn shabby. And then upload speed, I also got a really fast upload speed. I'm on fiber here in Costa Rica, so I do have a fast upload speed. So I'm getting 83, 88 download all the way to Massachusetts, and then I'm getting uh, around 90 upload. So really fast. Now I'm gonna go ahead and check another server and see if I get a faster speed there. Now I'm connected to Panama City and I got a much faster ping, but I got a slower download. So at this download speed, this would actually be really good for gaming because that's lightning fast on ping speed, but my download speed's not as good. But for gaming and streaming, I would actually use this one. And upload speed is off the charts because I do have a 500 megabit connection. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna use the local one that's close to me by just selecting best location for gaming and overall use. If I'm gonna do some intense downloading, I might connect to a stronger server. And I can actually choose that in the sections here. So if I go into US Central, some of, or here in US West, some of these will say 10 gigabit connection. And I can actually see by the bars here how fast that server is. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect to Los Angeles Lamar. This is a 10 gigabit connection. I'm assuming that this one will have more latency because it's farther away from me, but it will have a more bigger download speed. I'm gonna go ahead and check this one. So I have a higher ping, which this one I wouldn't call really great for gaming, but it would be good for downloading. Okay, now we're getting faster speed. Now I'm getting much faster than I've gotten before. I'm getting nearly, nearly 300 megabits download. So really good for downloading on this one. Not so great for gaming, but this is a 10 gigabit communication and I'm connecting all the way from uh, down in Latin America all the way to Los Angeles. So I should expect more latency. Now you guys that are in the United States, y'all could probably just connect to the best server location to you and you'll get a lightning fast communication. So at 322 megabits download and then 13 megabits upload, that's actually what you'd expect from the world-class VPN services like uh, NordVPN, ExpressVPN and such. Um, they're gonna have the high downloads and high uploads. We also had the really fast ping on that other server that was closer to me. So if I wanted a game, obviously, if you're in Florida and you want a game connecting to a Florida server or something nearby on the East Coast would typically have a lower ping and a faster latency um, than one that's located in Africa, for example. So yeah, this is actually really impressive. I wouldn't expect this from an, a VPN service that comes with an antivirus. That's not typical. They've actually thrown a lot of money at this product, I can tell, and I'm happy with it. If I just had this VPN and I didn't have anything else, I'd actually be really happy with it um, if it was a standalone product. So that's saying a lot. Now I'm connected to ESET VPN right now, and I went ahead and did a WhoAir test at WhoAir.net. This is basically a website that tests how strong our VPN is working, if it's keeping us anonymous. It sees that I'm in Los Angeles, which I'm not. That's where my VPN is connected, so that's good. Everything looks good here. It sees that I'm in Windows 10, that's okay. It sees that I'm using Firefox. It can't detect my DNS, and there's no leakage there, that's good. I'm not in a proxy. And it shows that I am using an anonymizer, which I am, I'm using a VPN. And then I'm not on a blacklist, which this is a big one because now we know that this, this VPN server owned by ESET is not blacklisted. So we're not gonna have trouble connecting to places that blacklist uh, VPNs. Now, if I wanted to get this anonymizer in the green to make this 100% instead of 90, I could simply just click into uh, a stealth protocol instead of WireGuard. So this would actually disguise it at HTTPS with TLS and that stealth would make this to where this server doesn't know I'm using a VPN. 
And last but not least is identity theft protection. And this one is a big one, folks. So when you get ESET Ultimate, first off, you have 10 devices. That could be five computers and five phones or five family members and five of yours, however you want. And then you also have 10 VPN accounts. So that's how that's covered. And you get one of identity protection and you'll activate it right through here. And then you're gonna get all this coverage, including dark web scanning. It's checking for breaches. It could be a website that you used five years ago one time and they got breached and now your identity is on the internet. When that happens, you call this number, fill out a claim. If they took out a million dollars of debt in your name, you have a million dollars of insurance, of identity theft insurance. So you get a million dollar check. That's how sure they are they're going to protect you. And this is actually becoming more common in the industry is to have identity theft insurance. And so that is included all in ESET Ultimate, which is normally $204.99 and it's 30% off for the holidays. I've never actually seen it that low. So you guys should jump on that if you're going to get this one. For all my final thoughts on Ultimate is that, yeah, it really is Ultimate. It is the best that ESET's ever done. Um, and it covers so many things that I like. I love the VPN. The identity protection is very impressive. Um, all the features that it has, that premium has, amazing stuff. I like the metadata removal. If I could suggest to ESET to do something different would be to maybe drop this down to five or six devices and drop this price from its normal price of $205 down to you know a more reasonable jump from 80 to maybe like 130 but jumping from $80 normal price here to 205 even if it's 10 devices seems a bit of an extreme jump um, if I was going to do it I would do five devices covered but still even at $205 for what this is it it does make sense that is worth every cent you get 10 VPNs um, if you signed up for like a major VPN service, you have one for like $100 a year. So I understand that. The credit monitoring, um, all of the identity theft protection and the, the suites for 10 devices. Yeah, it's worth every cent. But I just know a lot of customers would wish that there was a $130 option for half this. That's just my two cents. But overall, fantastic product. And congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Hope you found this video helpful. If you like it, click that like button and subscribe for more. If you'd like to pick up this product, you can get it at the links in description and I will see you next time.